Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Muchemba. Finally, I am doing the long awaited skin video. A lot of people have been asking me about it and yeah, I finally like come around to doing it. Well, I'm just going to be explaining the steps that I took to clear my skin because I had very, very bad skin. I've been suffering um, from acne. So it kept on getting worse and worse until it got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore. So I'll just rewind a bit to last year so last year i think somewhere july i started to use that's when i started like a proper skincare routine because i've never really had a skincare routine i decided to start using some products natural organic i don't know whatever you call them skin products for my face i had like everything toner um moisturizer whatever you name it um i reacted to that so i'm going to be inserting pictures as i explain i'll be inserting pictures from the timelines so somewhere in july like this first the products were working really well for a while and then like early october or so they were still like my skin was i could see significant improvement and my skin was like getting better and better and then um, i went on a trip to livingstone and that's when I actually started to notice my skin getting a bit worse. So during that trip, I had like a few um, pimples here and there. Dark spots were, were still staying on my face. And mind you, I still carried those same skin products on this trip and I was still doing my routine. So I don't know if it's the living stone water or it was just, I don't know, maybe the products were not working or they were not doing what I thought they were doing. Just like, you know, I used to read about all these things and I would, I would read where they say, don't touch your face, don't do this. And I started trying to not touch my face. I was drinking a lot of water. I'm somebody that hydrates a lot, so that has never been a problem for me. But still, it wasn't working. My skin was just getting worse and worse. Then, on my during that same period, um, this is now like mid-November. So in mid-November, I had another trip to Livingston again. And in this trip, I couldn't even, like I couldn't even do makeup. I couldn't do anything. My skin was so bad. It was... I feel like this is this is the worst it had ever gotten like it's been bad but it's not been this bad like where my face started to hurt my cheeks would always hurt and i couldn't even take proper pictures because i was feeling i was really feeling insecure like this really took a toll on me and my self-confidence and i feel like that's one of the reasons why i've taken time to even speak about it because it's something that was very yeah it was very emotional for me but anyway um so november mid-november on this trip everything was just like it wasn't it wasn't giving at all it was just really bad and then i came back home and you could even see like the the pimples started becoming pink and red i don't know like it was it was just bad it was really bad and then i still had to be going for work i still had to be moving in public and this was actually quite hard for me because you know people would react in a bad way i don't know why people don't understand that somebody is already living with this thing and like when you react a certain way you it's like you trigger them you make them feel worse than they already feel yeah i had to continue going for work i had to continue doing everything like my day-to-day -day life so um the skin started to the thing started to dry a bit but then they were still there it was still like kind of bad and everything and then um somewhere in february yeah this should be february i'll check the exact date and i'll write it so somewhere in february i just had enough i got fed up and i finally decided to go and see a dermatologist so i went to woodland specialist clinic i've i've had a number of people ask me where i went uh, they were trying to promote the the tele doctor app and they were having a promotion at the time for like a dermatology consultation so i decided to take advantage of the opportunity and that's how i went to woodland specialist clinic and when i went there the dermatologist saw me he looked at my face and you know he did a full assessment like he looked at me in the sun he looked at me in normal light and he also switched on like a torch and he was able to see everything so after that he asked me he said uh, what products are you using so i carried everything that i was using at the moment and i showed him this is what i was using and whatnot and after he did all his assessments he told me that um these cosmetic products these which are made with like natural or whatever are not meant for my skin type so my skin 
condition or that acne or whatever he told me it was genetic and it was something that i i couldn't control with cosmetic products or organic whatever products those are so i needed to be using only medicated products for my skin to do well given how severe um the situation was or how how bad my skin was at the time he recommended that i get on medication so this medication is called isotretinoin i will insert the picture of it so it's isotretinoin and i had to take it for 90 days and each box had 10 so i had to buy nine boxes of those he prescribed isotretinoin for me and he prescribed benzoyl peroxide and another one called noaxin so these were the three things I was supposed to use. And then, I started the, the course. So I've, I was using, I was washing my face every day, twice a day with Protex Even Tone. Then I would apply the benzoyl peroxide in the night when sleeping because it like makes your face a bit dry. And then I would use the Noaxin in the morning when I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Like, I wouldn't even apply anything. The only thing he said I could continue applying was sunscreen. And I had already been using the, the Nivea sunscreen, the one for kids. This is the sunscreen that I have been using. I got this one from Skincare ZM. Yeah, so he said I can continue applying the sunscreen on top, but those are the only things I should put from, on my face for 90 days. So the benzoyl peroxide, his instructions, I was just supposed to use it for the first month. And then after that, I just continue with the noaxin and the isotretinoin. I remained consistent because I saw what I like. I saw what my skin had become, and I knew what I wanted it to be, or I knew what it could be. He warned me. He said the tablets are very strong. First of all, they're not meant for pregnant people. You're not supposed to get pregnant while you're taking those tablets. They're so strong that they dry out your your lips. Like you feel your mouth start cracking and everything. Like your lips will start feeling burnt, and then it makes the acne or the pimples worse before it becomes better so i'll be posting i'll be putting pictures while i'm talking while i'm, I'm telling you guys all this i'm putting pictures of the time when i was taking the medicine so you could see like my face even became a bit darker i was looking like bent my lips were pink and it would actually hurt like it would physically hurt and i started to look weird i stopped taking pictures because i felt like i just wasn't like i just wasn't at my most confident and that was i feel like one of the worst periods of my life because it really took a toll on me and like people were so contributing and reacting like you know people will see your face and go oh my god what happened hey Shane. like you know they, they, the faces they would make would demoralize me so much but i continued pushing i never missed a day i took my medicine i used to move with it everywhere so that in case maybe i find myself sleeping somewhere else i don't uh, miss out on a day so i made sure that i had my medicine every single day i took one pill every day for 90 days guys while applying the benzoyl peroxide, applying the noaxin, I spent so much money trying to buy this medicine, but trust me, it was so worth it. I would do it all over again because that was, yeah, it's, it saved me. So I took my last medicine the day after my birthday, which was the 10th of May. And I remember the day when I took that, I literally shed tears because I had seen how much progress I had made from the time that I started taking the medicine until the time I was finishing. I saw how much progress I had made. I look at my skin and I just... Whew. After I, I finished that, after I finished the course of the medicine, I decided to start using uh, Palmer's lotion. So it was Palmer's Skin Success. That's the lotion that I started to apply. So I continued with the event on. The one consistent thing I had or I've had is the Protex event on. I swear by that so please if i don't know but anyway we have different skin types but for me that's what worked for me so i i continued with the protex even tone and i'll just apply the palmer skin success and just like that for a while until at some point i ran out of the skin success so i decided to revert back to clear essence i used to use clear essence some time back but then for some reason this time when i started to use it wasn't um what do you call this it wasn't as effective yes it wasn't as effective when i was using it so let me show you this is what the clear essence looks like so this is just a cream it's a medicated fade cream it's even written medicated fade cream and yeah so this is 
how it looks inside so i would continue just with the protex even tone clear essence protex even tone clear essence and i started to see that my dark spots started to fade and my skin was just glowing and improving and ciao here we are now the other products i'm using now are this vitamin c serum as you can see let me just try properly yeah so i use this vitamin c serum i also got this one from skincare zedem i have this rose water i use this as my toner this is from okusamba this it changed but like my skin is so smooth so this is some facial cleansing mousse i got this this one from vuka skin and trust me guys just as beautiful as the packaging is the product is even better this is what the container looks like it's so pretty guys like it's it's i actually love this so much just show you in order step one is products event on to wash my face so oh another important thing i forgot to mention is that always wash your face with clean hands i actually got this tip from Anne marie dirty hands are a breeding place for bacteria so you need to make sure that whatever you're doing you're doing with clean hands so before you even wet your face before you even do anything you wash your hands first so i first wash my hands with the protex and then after i wash my hands with it i use it like a lather it and i use it to wash my face after that i go on to use the the facial cleansing mousse from vuka skin and yeah trust me guys this is going to make your skin soft like it's going to leave your skin feeling very soft and smooth and i just love it so much so this one is step two step three is toning so i go in with this rose water from okusamba the next step is the serum so i use the vitamin c serum from skincare zedem as well lastly for the moisturizer i go in with the clear essence so just a side note this contains a percentage of sunscreen because it has sunscreen embedded in it i don't apply the the nivea but then you could still use the clear essence and put the nivea on top that's still fine especially for really hot days because this is like spf 50 so it's better for you it's really good for your skin anyway and that is the skincare routine that i'm currently following and this is what my skin looks like yo to think i came from this to this is actually really really crazy and it, I went through like so much during that period, but I just thank God for keeping me really strong and I thank my family for being so supportive, especially my mom. My mom was so supportive throughout this. She was like helping me, she would always encourage me, she would always make sure that I've taken my medicine. I just hope that this is going to help someone out there who's suffering from acne and bad skin and all that. Just know that it's not there permanently and there's something that you can do about it you can sign up and go to the dermatologist yeah sometimes it's a bit pricey but then it's worth it at the end of the day yeah i'll continue trying to share more tips here and there from now on but yeah guys um i think that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel and hey, don't forget to share with somebody this could help somebody who's suffering from acne like me and until next time guys Bye.